in our efforts to be prudent and safe in regard to the coronavirus and its contagiousness, the fundamental question has been, what is essential gathering and what is not? The church has come to a point where, quite honestly, it has felt bullied by the world and to shutting down completely. We have devout Catholics, people who have been devout and dedicated all their lives to their church, who will die without receiving anointing of the sick, the last rites, and in some places not even a funeral. I have a question for the world that has bullied the church into that place. Did you go to the grocery store? You had to use a cart that other people use, many other people use, to make sure you had enough of this at home, or food to fill your belly, or your medicines. How dare you risk infecting other people? Well, but that was considered essential, and that's okay. There's a difference between prudence and wisdom, and I'm all for that. There's a difference between that and being bullied. And this is what the church needs to push back against. The fact that we can't have churches open at all, no sacraments, nothing, and we cower and hide for one reason, one reason only, let's face it, let's be honest, because the church and church leaders are deathly afraid of being accused by bullies of infecting everybody. But those same bullies can be at the grocery stores where there are many more people there than the one or two or three or even ten people that could be allowed to be in church. Or that one priest who anoints that one dying faithful person. At nine o'clock central time, we're going to live stream here a beautiful prayer to the Mother of God. It's called the Akathis Prayer. I invite you to join us. If nothing else, we can still pray. And I can still pray in God's house. Yes, you can pray at home. But we can also still, wherever we are, pray together.